defense was stagnant early in that fourth quarter. Quick shots, bad shots, uh, turnovers, and they were just putting their head down and attacking us, getting to the rim, uh, getting easy shots. Uh, we didn't we didn't show enough resistance in that fourth quarter. It's been three games in a row now. We gotta we gotta figure that out, and that's what we're here for. We're gonna stick together and try to figure it out together. But we put them on the free throw line. Uh, I don't know, 30, 38 times. Uh, they made 37 of them, unfortunately, but we've found a lot of jump shooters throughout the game, but we just put them on the line too many times. Uh, what what has been the problem? I mean, it's three fourth quarters now. What what has been the common problem in those fourth quarters that's not allowing you guys to have success there? Yeah, we had some different rotations and they were just trying different things. We're going to continue to do it. and. It, and explore and we're going we're to get it right. We've had a pretty good second unit last year. Uh, we got to get back to it. I thought uh, tonight uh, they struggled, but you know, we're all together. It's, 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 it's the Wizards. We, we have to figure out that fourth quarter. Um, but yeah, the start, the start bothered us tonight. Um, we were in a good place and we just needed about three or four good minutes and Maybe it would have been the difference of the game. We gave them confidence by not getting good looks and not um, buckling down on the defensive end. They were just attacking, getting easy uh, paint shots and points. Chase. Scott, uh, just the fact that you guys are now 0-3, um, how do you kind of take stock of this start at this point? Well, it's not. We're not where we wanted to be, but we are. You know, it's one thing. We we will take ownership of it, myself included. I need to do a better job, but we all do. Uh, if it's a three-game season, we didn't have a very good year, uh, but we still got you know sixty whatever sixty-nine nine games left. We got to keep fighting. We got to get the first win first before we worry about anything else. And. Uh, We've been always been resilient. We've always had a competitive spirit, and that hasn't changed. We've been in every every game so far. We just have to, we just got to push through, fight through, and and close out the game. And tonight, um, give them credit. They didn't give up. They got to the free throw line. We couldn't get there, um, but yeah, we got to be able to figure out ways to to close out the game. Neil. Hey, Coach, you, you went with uh, not Denny and not Isak uh, late in the game. You went with Troy and Davis instead. What was the decision-making process there? Well, Davis, you know, shot maker. Uh, his experience. And then Troy, I thought Troy had one of his better games. Uh, played Denny a lot of minutes straight. Um, so he definitely needed a... Needed a blow. It would have been, I think, 24 straight minutes if I would have kept them in the game. We needed them uh, during the time when we, you know, we got the lead. But I think that time we needed we needed a sub. Made the decision. Fred, do you have another? Yes, I do. Um, in in the fourth quarter, they really started blitzing. Brad, I want to say like the start of the when you when you put him back in at you know ten minutes in the in the fourth or so, um, how did you think Brad and the offense in general responded to that? Well, I mean they were they were blitzing last game and, and most of the game this game they they were aggressive. Um, we, we didn't score enough. There's no question, 19 points and we gave up too many. We took the ball to the basket way too many times to generate some points in transition. Um, but we got we got some decent looks. I don't know if they were great looks, but decent looks, and we didn't convert. Uh, I thought Howu played tremendous throughout the game, and it's unfortunate we didn't get to win because he definitely would have, you know, got the game ball the way he played throughout the game. But we just need to keep battling and keep fighting, and it, it doesn't feel good now. And I know the group uh, very well, and they don't feel good, which I like. And we got we got it. We will stick together. We will figure it out and and come back and and play better and hopefully play uh, the entire 48 minutes much better than we played solid for you know 43 three minutes tonight we had a couple of minutes 
in the first half wasn't wasn't our best minutes. Uh, we kept fouling the shooter, uh, particularly Ross. Uh, but I thought um, we've been competitive. We just didn't. We just have to figure out ways to close it out. Karita. Coach, going back to the 0-3 start, at this point, how do you keep guys' spirits up? Because it is still early in the season, but like you said, not how you wanted to start. Yeah, I mean, it's early. It's early in the season. We got we got a lot of, a lot of work ahead of us and a lot of season ahead of us. Uh, it doesn't feel good, trust me. Uh, we, had, we had opportunities to win all three games. Uh, we came, came away nothing. Uh, and there's no... This team is about winning, uh, and we didn't do it. So I mean, it's on me, but we got it. We we'll figure it out. Um, like I said, a lot of season left. Um, guys, got to just keep fighting and keep uh, improving, and you know, get you know. Obviously, Russell will come back next game. Rui will come back soon after that, and you know, then we can. You know, I think it can help our help our fourth quarters. Last question from Chase. Scott, uh, fading late in the fourth quarter, do you think it has anything to do with um, conditioning? Like maybe the players don't have their, their legs yet and are maybe wearing down late? Yeah, I mean, I, I don't know. I mean, that's it's always maybe a, a possibility, but I, we don't, we're not in the excuses. We have we got enough guys to, to figure that out. Um, I think I do know this. We're playing. We're playing extremely hard to, to stay in every game, and, and I thought I think that's part of uh, part of being a good team. You got to be able to dig down and 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 be mentally and physically ready to to play the entire game. And, and you know, I think we I think we we have been just a couple of things. Uh, you know, the, the free throws uh, hurt us tonight. Um, we got to do a much 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 um, better job of that. And, but we're going to keep fighting. I mean, it's, it, it hurts right now. I, 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 all of us are hurting uh, because we knew we, were, we played well enough to win this game, but we'll bounce back. And I know, I know the guys will, will definitely come back in with the same fighting spirit they had the first three games. The first praise my Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Um, I think we got comfortable. That's what happened. Ava? Brad, how does that, what you said, getting comfortable relate to what you said last night when effort was the issue? For three quarters, you guys looked as aggressive as you wanted to be. Does the does that term comfortable kind of relate to what you're talking about with effort or no? Oh, uh, yeah, that too. I mean, being locked into the game, giving effort, I mean, you don't go from 17, damn near 20 points to losing the damn game. So that's, that's unacceptable on offense on everybody's behalf. Fred. Hey, Brad. I, I know you're at, you are uh, you've dealt a lot with getting blitzed very aggressively, especially over the last couple of years. That that happened again tonight. In in the fourth quarter, uh, what what were those blitzes like? How were you trying to read them, and how were you trying to attack them? Uh, it's a blitz on a pick and roll. I don't really. I mean, pretty much whenever I have the ball, I have two people on me, so I don't really. I ain't really shit I can do, but get off the ball and try to make a play. You know, my biggest thing is try to attack and get to the free throw line, which is another story tonight. But, you know, it's, it's, I don't know. You know, my, my job is to attack. If I draw two, get off the ball and trust my teammates to be able to make plays. Anthony. Hey, Brad, hope all is well. Um, in the third quarter with about seven minutes left, um, when you collided with Fultz, um, that kind well, once you got up, that kind of sparked that twenty-six to nine run. I guess can you tell me a little bit what went wrong in the fourth compared to, uh, to how you guys ended the third quarter? I said earlier we got comfortable. Thanks, Ava. Brad, what can you say about um, Howell and and what he did and kind of the tone that he gave you guys tonight early on? He's been great. He's been great all year. You know, he's he's constantly proving himself. He's constantly, you know, working his tail off. I call him Wolfman. You know, he's he's uh 
he's a true backup. You know, he he plays his tail off. He goes in and competes. You know, and I mean the numbers are showing. You know, we we just got to help him and try to turn these into wins. You know, we all can have good performances like he had tonight and play as hard as he does. And you know, we we come up short. But he plays well. He's taking advantage of the opportunities he's given. Neil. Hey, Brad, I, I know you like don't like to look back and complain on things, but the free throw discrepancy for Orlando versus you guys, 38 to 13, is that reflective of how aggressive you guys are on offense or were you just not getting rewarded? I think we both know the answer to that question. Chris Doss. Hello, Bradley. I would like to ask you, how big hit for you, for your psychology as a team, was uh, the last two games against uh, the Orlando Magic? And how optimistic you are about this season? You said, what was my psychology after the last two games? Well, I was... Uh, uh, the psychology of the team. Okay. Huh? What's the, the, what's the psych of the team? Yes, yes. Oh, the team is all right. I mean, we're pissed off. Nobody likes to lose. You know, nobody, nobody, nobody enjoys losing. We're all frustrated. We're all upset. You know, but it's a, I think it's a, a positive, you know, kind of fierceness we have. You know, it's it's in the right direction. It's about winning. It's not, you know, us pointing a finger at one guy or anything like that. It's we all gotta do better. We all gotta play better. You know, it's just stop talking about it. Let's just hoop and go out there and win. But everybody's fine. There's nobody losing confidence. There's nobody point the finger, there's no teammates, you know, not liking the next man or nothing like that. So we're good in that standpoint. You know, we just gotta we just gotta collectively come together and put some wins together. The quick follow up, I would like to ask you how how big is the motivation right now in the locker room about the next game? Uh well it's the NBA. If you're not motivated to play then you shouldn't be here. That's just plain and simple. I mean that's just you're playing at the highest level of basketball. If you can't get yourself mentally and physically ready to go. And you're on the wrong level of basketball. Uh, but I think we're 100%. We're ready to go, motivated. I mean, we, we play a game every other day. So you have no choice but to, you know, get your mind right and get back out on the floor. Um, I mean, we just got to get some flow. Um, honestly, just more so of us getting downhill and, you know, making plays for each other uh, and getting into our offense. That's, that's really it. And um, Scott Brooks has said he's been searching for a little bit of consistency off the bench through the first three quarters it looked like you guys came off and, and were able to do everything pretty much you wanted what was different tonight in the first three quarters and then why do you think that didn't carry over necessarily towards the end of the game um I feel like the biggest thing right now is just like coming off the bench we have to bring that energy um we had a talk in the locker room and even last year we were like top 15 and like scoring and pace coming off the bench and so we have to replicate that this year and so that's the biggest thing is just coming in with that fire and you know, playing defense and making sure we're getting stops and getting out on the other end. Thanks, Troy. Fred. Fred. Hey, Troy. Um, Bra Brad mentioned he thought you guys got too comfortable when you had the big lead. Um, what do you have to do to not be too comfortable in those kinds of moments moving forward? Um, I mean, at the end of the day, that's the fourth or what, the third, fourth quarter like time that we we lost the fourth quarter. And at the end of the day, we, that's on us um, as players. We have to come out and accept responsibility for that and know that we have to come out and bring that energy. And I agree with Brad, we definitely got too comfortable. And, you know, even though we were up 17, that doesn't give us any excuse to let our foot off the gas or to not keep playing hard because coaches give an opportunity, so. Troy, what, what, um, what, is there a common thread in your estimation and what's going on in these three fourth quarters? Um, I mean, it's a lot of things. I mean, it's not just one thing particular. Uh, we definitely have a bunch of things that we have to go over and make sure that we have set in stone, but just anything from letting people get to the basket too easy, uh, post-ups, um, even over-helping and giving up easy buckets, backdoor cuts, kick out threes and offensive rebounds. This is a lot of stuff and we gotta, we gotta stop taking that fourth quarter lead for granted, that's the second time now, especially here at home. Neil. Hey, Troy, obviously not the result you guys wanted, but you were able to get going offensively a little bit. What was working well for you today? 
Um, I mean, the biggest thing for me was just coming out and just, you know, giving 110. Uh, I wanted to start this game off just playing defense and then from there letting the game come to me. And, you know, Ish did a really good job of finding me in some open spots early on. Um, I mean, I know I'm capable of hitting shots at the end of the day. I just got to find my niche and then from there, you know, get going. So I think in some moments they play harder than us. Um, I think it was a little lack of focus on our part, you know, just boxing out the guys that we have to box out, um, knowing who are the shooters. And I think that's how they got back to the game, just hustling and, and making plays basically. So um, I think that was uh, that was what happened. And of course, we got to get better. Ava? How you had such a strong night to start. What was your kind of mentality going in the game, obviously, with Russ out and backing him up? I mean, just, just be aggressive, you know. Uh, I think uh, when Russ is out, we need guys to just be confident and take their shot and, and uh, you know, play basketball. I think, uh, I think that's what I do, you know, um, just um, make plays, try to play hard, um, take my shots and, and, and try to, to help the team to win. You know, I think uh, my mentality coming into the game was just be aggressive and, and be confident. Neil? Hey, Howell. Uh, between the three fourth quarters that you guys have had so far, would you say it's the effort and spurts that's the common thread, or are there other areas that have caused you guys trouble? I mean, in a basketball game, you – I mean, it's rarely that you play good 48 minutes. You know, you always have a couple minutes, two minutes that uh, the other team – it's not like we're playing against a bad team, you know. Uh, it's hard. It's hard to uh, point one thing that we did wrong in this fourth quarter. Um, I think that we got to watch film. We got to uh, go through the things we did wrong and try to fix it, you know. But uh, we got to definitely get better at closing games. Uh, we'll be in the same position the three games we lost. We, uh, we were winning against Philly. Uh, we were down by five, I think, against Orlando last game. And today we're winning by three with 50 seconds to go. Um, I think we just got to. Um, get a couple more stops, I think, uh, uh, be more focused and not uh, do any mistake that can cost us the game. And um, and I think we'll be good. You know, we got a great team. We got good players. We got guys that can come out there and just, um, you know, help us win game <clears throat> games. So I think, uh, I think we just got to go through film and see what we did wrong and uh, get better. Fred? No. Um, last year when you were in Philly, it being your first year there, how long did it take you till you really felt like you were comfortable with teammates, you knew their tendencies, where they were on the floor and that kind of stuff? Uh, it took a while. I think the, the team we had last year in Philly, uh, we had guys that were resting in different lineups and it always takes a little time to get used to what, what guys uh, like to do and, and where they want the ball, how they want to play, the pace and everything. So it took a while. Um, I would say, I don't know, 10, 12 games. It's hard to like just um, have days exactly, but uh, it always takes take some time. Uh, more for the point guard, you know, to get used to playing with different players. So the, re the reason I ask is because you guys are kind of going through a similar thing where you're, you know, you rested Russell tonight, you rested some guys during the preseason, others are on minutes limits. And, and I'm wondering if you learned anything from that experience last year that can help you get to know new guys again this year a little bit faster. Yeah, definitely. I think uh, um, the more years you play in this league, the more years you play basketball, you, you learn from those things. And I think if you look at, at the games, I think we are, we're not winning, but we're right there. Um, Orlando is a playoff team. They made the playoff last year. Philly is a contender. So uh, we play teams that are good teams. It's not like we're not doing their job or we, of course, we always got to get better. But uh, I think we're getting there. Um, guys are guys are definitely not happy with the results. Um, we we going to go back and look at things we got to get better and just take day by day. You know, we have a young team, and I think everybody – take the responsibility responsibility with the with the losses and and try to get better. I think that's the mentality we have to take and um, it's gonna take time. 
it's going to take time. And the less time it takes, the better for us. So we just got to learn and get better for the next game. Christos. Hello, Raul. I would like to ask you, uh, what was the biggest lesson of uh, the last two days uh, against the Orlando Magic? And how big is the motivation about the next game in the team? Um, I think we can't wait to play again, you know, um, after losses like that, we just want to get back on the court and, 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 and play. I think, um, I think what I, what I just said, um, just staying with the good things we did, uh, get better on the bad things. We, um, we got to get better in closing games. I think that's, that's the main thing. That was the main thing the last two, three games, you know, closing, closing games and, and getting stops. Um, taking good shots, those are things that, that matters at the end of the game. Um, you always play good teams in, the, in this league. It's the NBA. We're playing against the best players in the world. So um, any, any lack of focus, any lack of uh, energy or intensity at the end of the games can cost you uh, winning or losing, you know. So I think, uh, I think that's the, the main thing, and we've talked about it, and, and we know for the next games we're gonna, we need to get better. Thank <clears throat> you.